Welcome to game number two of Golden League 2 weekend number one. It's a lot of numbers. And we're down here in the redemption brackets. That means both these players, they were eliminated from the top of the bracket today. And whoever wins this series will be advancing on to the main event. The Muslim and Garneth, two big names. And in game number one, Garneth got some points on the board. So the Muslim probably not wanting to go out like this. Going to be trying his best with the Delhi Sultanate bringing two villagers forward here on Canal. I only expect there's going to be some shenanigans. This could be a quick game. I don't know. I don't know. So there's a uh, fish here in the middle. What is he going to go build is the question. Is it going to be a dock? He's going pretty far. The scout sees him. Garneth, on the other hand, playing as the Ottomans, coming forward with his one villager. I have a feeling he's going to put down a military school because that's what we saw B do in his Muslim matchup or in his Marine Lord matchup. The Muslim going for a rather forward dock. Now, why can he get away with this? Well, the Delhi fishing boats, they can shoot arrows, which on a map like this is quite good. Uh, not to mention they got a little bit of an HP buff in the season four patch. Now, Garneth, what is he doing? He's not going for the river. He's going down south. Oh my gosh, he is going to go. I, I, I feel like this is going to be a barracks or a military school. Or is he just going to... <laughs> I don't know! Oh my. Shenanigans! I told you, there's going to be shenanigans. He's walling, but he's walling the wrong... Uh, <laughs> he's going to... Is he trying to wall him out? Did he see this? Or is he going to go build over here? Oh gosh. I don't know. Oh no. I <laughs> can't help but chuckle. There's, we've seen a lot of interesting strategies. I would say this is probably the most fun map for weird strats. He is. Look at this. I think he scouted this. He says, that's cool. You take that side of the river. He built the placements there. He's going to go down the other side of the river. I hope the Muslim drops a dock right here. So <laughs> I think B built like nine docks when we watched him on this game versus Marine Lord. Beyond Gaming AoE, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy your stay. Okay, so that Palisade Wall stops the Delhi angry fishing ships from coming down the river and yeeting away his fishing ships. He'll now finish that and he's going to be fishing. So it's no barracks. It's not a military school. This is just good old fashioned fishing. Favorite pastime. You guys, who's, who's been out going going fishing with Dad? I spent my summers going up to Lake Erie. We went fishing there for walleye all the time up near... near Cedar, go to Cedar Point if we're lucky, but, you know, Dad's really focused on fishing. I want to go ride roller coasters, but... Uh, I lie. We actually, we did spend... Uh, we did spend one of our vacations. We we stayed in the marina. We we were too cool to stay in the hotel. We would take our we'd call our tiny ass boat up to Lake Erie and stay in the marina. And it was we thought it was the greatest thing ever. Me and my brother would go in and ride the roller coasters at Cedar Point every single day. And I live by Kings Island, in Cincinnati, so we'd get the uh, Cedar Fair Platinum Pass so we could go to Kings Island and go to Cedar uh, Cedar Point as much as we want when we we're on the vacation. So. That's enough. Amusement park junkies out there know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we got fishing set up. I would say the Muslim's in a bit of the lead as far as uh, his production here. Although the numbers look pretty similar. Wait, how's that possible? When he... I guess he did build his dock at a very similar time. Yeah, they're like neck and neck from what we're seeing here. So this is probably going to heat up as we get into the second age, but for now... Uh, just both players respecting the boundaries of the, the fishing regulations here. Looking like the Muslim says, cool wall, bro. I'm going to come over. Either, either he's going home or he's just going to build his own dock right here. And for some reason, that's what I feel like he's going to do. Let's see. There it is. So, Garneth, he's not going to be able to wood wall himself out of this one. B coming in for the kill with his own dock and as he as he hits the uh, feudal age now he isn't aging up yet uh, he can get the arrow emplacement this upgrade which is uh, will devastate all of these fishing boats here so 
Well, let's see what uh, the Muslim is going to do next for the Delhi Sultanate. Of course, Delhi got a lot of love this patch. A lot of changes to their landmarks. You can now put five scholars inside of the mosque. Uh, you get a free elephant with everything a villager you trip. No, that'd be cool. Imagine. Imagine. Free elephant with every shipment. That's like an AOE 3 card, it sounds like. Uh-oh. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, let's get back to work. There we go. He's going to head back out to the uh, the berries. Yes. And Garneth is aging up with the Sultani trade network. The trade network, not the berries. Oh. oh this is probably a good map for it. If, is he going to eject from the trade, though? That's the question. Not for right now. Not a landmark you see a ton, but... Having some gold's nice when you're trying to build some of these ships, of course, that cost gold and everything. Here, the Vizier point coming in. Let's see if uh, anything pops out. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected, the matter. So the Ottomans, they slowly gain these Vizier points. You can't see them on the UI here, but you can spend them on different things. Most common thing is the Metter, which is going to be a unit that buffs up uh, the Ottomans. Now, I don't know how he's going to use that without any other units out here. D uh... Maybe with Scout? Oh no! He's running around! He's playing the drums! He's living his best freaking life. Two docks right now for Garneth, by the way. He did drop a counter docks. We have two docks. He also has a demo ship there. That will help stop that. Let's see, is the Muslim going for any stone? He's not. So no arrow emplacements will be coming in on those docks. Uh, and it looks like he deleted his wall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Incoming. He might just sit there behind and protect. Yeah, he might just save it up. Yeah, I think that's what we're seeing right now. Looking like Garneth has a little bit of a handle on this situation. Looks like a uh, archer ship's about to pop out from this dock, but I think it will instantly explode it. But that boat should withstand it because the rock, paper, scissors, the arrow ship wins. And you can see that barely takes any damage, and he's going to heal right back up. So, an excellent trade for the Muslim. I do see Garneth is on stone. Now, that could be for military schools, but that could also be for arrow emplacements. That's, in fact, exactly what he does. Naval uh, arrow slits coming out right now. Uh, the Muslim's got a little bit of a surround here on this dock. Uh, very neck and neck, as we can see uh, for right now. He's able to take out that arrow ship, and now we've got a Bagala comes on in. Does this thing buff docks? Wait, it does? I, I saw it on there. What? I did not know that. That's why he brought it out here. I guess I've never tried it. I don't know. I don't see a ton of Ottoman water play, but Jesus. Ooh, takes out that Bagla. And now with that dock emplacement, he's probably gonna be able to kill that. Down goes the Bagla. Another one coming on in. Oh, demo ship. There's all kinds of chaos. Things are exploding. Boglas are sinking. Uh-oh, fishing boat's in trouble. He spreads them out. Can't keep them alive. For now, he is. Arrow ships get some shots on it. Going after the Dow. And boom, explodes. The Dow goes down. Fishing ship does survive, though. And now we've got the dock uh, laying out some shots, of course. Will the Muslim get that upgrade? No, he is not yet. He has started. Uh, no, he's not. No stone for him. Now, of course, Delhi, they get the free tech, so he went for the Dome of Faith. He's getting a Scholars. He could put a Scholar inside here, by the way, uh, if he got this tech. Manuscript Trade uh, allows them to give plus 30% faster production speed. But I haven't really... I don't know if I've seen anybody do it yet. I know it's a tech you can do, but uh, he hasn't. If you think this game is chaotic, you should have seen the Marine Lord versus B game. It was ridiculous. I'll be putting that up on YouTube. It's pretty crazy. Okay, Dow currently fighting up against these fishing boats. These fishing boats say, you want some of this? I'm going to you up. Come on over to my pond. I'm old Greg. He's going to get him. Not to be confused with GG Greg, just to be, be clear here. Arrow ships. Okay, fishing boats going to be going back. Dow chasing him down. Man, I don't know who's going to win this right now. It's very much back and forth. That dock is still alive. Uh, what you doing in my waters? <laughs> oh, man. Guys, I can't believe the Dows get buffed by the Metter. I mean, it makes sense. I 
I don't know why I thought it wouldn't. Does it get additional movement speed too? That's what I really want to know. Oh, on that bagla. Wow. Yeah, naval. Here's the real question. I want to know what what chat thinks about naval arrow slits because I have mixed opinions about them. I feel like on maps like this, naval arrow slits are just ridiculously dominating. Um, it's all about who's got the dock there. Theoretically, he should have had like the best naval arrow slits here. He's right between his two docks, but he never got the upgrade. be a juicy demo but the uh the fishing boats are angry i don't know how this is going to work out for them though fighting underneath these arrow slits he's just trying to kill that dow but unable to get the job done okay well a lot of carnage here if there was if these boats didn't disappear after they sank this river this canal would definitely be be dammed up uh no question about that It's an age two water keep. Yeah, it, that's definitely what the arrows are. Now, the Muslim did get some horsemen out on the field. Let's go take a look at each other's bases. We've been staring at this canal. Starting to grab some of the sacred sites now. This uh, this map, I think the reason I picked Delhi, well, it's got one, two, three, four sacred sites, which, uh, like, the only map I know other than Confluence, which, thank God we don't have to play anymore. But, uh... The Delhi, getting those that gold generation, if you can secure those. Horsemen coming out. So the Muslim says, whatever, you take the water. It's time to play land. He's not giving up on this yet. They never do. But uh, he's going to be coming across with his horsemen. See what he's able to do. It looks like we have a spearman back at home, a barracks as well, uh, training up spearmen. I think he should be okay to take these raids. This map control can really help him. Is he going to try to find a way to get up to the castle age? As oh, well, look at his macro. The Muslim got more tricks up his sleeve. Going to be going up to the castle age here momentarily which landmark will he choose well i doubt come on out the defender since you know cheap stone discounts not gonna matter when you can't build keeps or walls now hold on where's this spearman i thought you could take that out matter still playing his drum -pum -pum -pum. coming back home you see the dock slowly going down two sacred sites under control he's not gonna that three sacred sites under control one more up for grabs there to muslim is doing pretty good with his eco. And if he can get to the castle age, well, it could be a different ball game here. Let's see what, probably I'm assuming the house of wisdom is what he's gonna, gonna choose. House of learning rather, sorry. <laughs> what is it, what is it? What are we in Abbasid now? They're similar, they like berries. There we go, house of learning. Now my favorite tech in the house of learning, you can garrison inside of houses and houses get more HP. Uh, which, like, you can just throw a bunch of houses around your mind. If they raid you, you just jump on inside it. Super fun. It's actually pretty effective. I've been enjoying it. Interesting. Did, it, did these traders ever make a trip? They must have. He has four of them, but they've just been... I just clicked it, like, come on. <laughs> Go trade. But uh, right now, he was able to clean up... Those horsemen, will they try to go for a trade? It looks like they were going to, but just standing there idly for right now. Um, on the water, the Muslim losing the rest of his fishing ships. That's going to be the end of that food eco, but he says, it's okay. I'm in the castle age. Now, um, other text to talk about here in the House of Learning, as the horseman's taking out the spearmen. Hone blades. This gives plus three attack to both men-at-arms and knights. I'd rather the answers, which is quite good. And then this tech used to be in the fourth age, now is in the third age. Increases the capacity of villagers by plus five. So it's good two very good techs to have. Garneth trying to stop these sacred sites, but I feel like the Muslim's starting to get the momentum he needs with all this uh the sacred sites he's held. Uh he's in castle age. Let's see what units he trains up. An elephant! Yes! I haven't seen any elephants in a S tier tournament in like over a year i swear let's go let's get some hype hold on hold on hold on, hold on. i got <laughs> make way elephants coming out of the battlefield very soon they've got a long journey though because their bases are literally on opposite corners of the map so we'll see how this goes dumbo drop coming on in he needs to get the raw from age of mythology uh oh ooh, ooh. oh my gosh these guys are so low hp and the Muslim just keeping him alive. Oh, but he's not gonna see him. Oh, sneaky boy. Clever girl. Okay, we got a house of learning. Uh, the Hone Blades working on it. He's grabbing some relics. Just like, just, un there's just like a unit here, a unit there, a unit here. They're just 
They're just, they're just all over the place. Water, though. Garneth has secured. Well, almost. That dock's still alive, but it looks like he's going to secure it. And, well, that's going to protect at least his resources that are near the sea. He could come over here. Yeet that tower elephant away. Two elephants coming across the map. Let's get some elephants in the chat. Here we go. Elephant cam. You either love it or you hate it. Elephant in S tier oh Golden God. League tournament. Ping's going off over the map, but we don't care because Dumbo rides down the canal. He needs to get on a boat. Oh, big brain. If you get on a boat, he could go much faster down the river, but he doesn't have control of the water. Imagine if you're dealing with control of the water, you'd just be like, get on a boat, go zooming down. Despite the fact the elephant's bigger than the boat, gets on it. Okay. Tower Elephant says, what's up? What's up? Come get a base of this. Tower Elephant's firing back. Wait. What? What? The dock is shooting at the elephant. What? I heard about this. The elephant's so big, it thinks it's a boat. The dock is shooting at Dumbo. That's an illegal play. We need to get the admin in here on this one. I don't know what's going on here, but he's shooting at Dumbo, the Muslim, losing a tower elephant to the dock. But it uh, looks like he's going to solve that problem the old-fashioned way with a little torch damage. Oh my gosh. Somebody clip this, please, so I can send it over to the devs. Oh my word. Ay, 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 ay. Remember? Hey, it's okay. I did a t deli tier list once, a bug tier list that had like 30 plus deli bugs like a year ago. So we got one. I, I will, I'll settle for it. We'll be okay. Okay. All joking aside, Muslim lost one of his elephants out there. Um, Doc did go down though. Did he get both of them? I think there's a boat down, uh, Doc down there. So maybe he doesn't care too much. I'm not really sure who's going to win this one right now. Garneth reaching the castle. He went up with the Imperial... Uh, Istanbul Imperial Palace, which gives him a uh, plus two vizier point limit and doubles how much how quickly he's gonna be getting his vizier points coming in, the experience. But uh I don't know. This is this is a, a close one right now. Garneth dealing with raids. Janissary's there! Janissary's excellent against Lancers. I was what it's free to play weekend, so there's some different people trying the game, and there was some like massive streamer playing yesterday, and I was watching his stream. And he, like, it was clear he didn't know how to play the game, and he was just making nothing but Janissaries. And he didn't understand why he was losing going up against straight longbows. And I was like, I couldn't type in chat because it was like one of those you had to be followed for like 10 minutes. But I was just trying to tell him, like, bro, that, that's, that, he's like, I got my gunners. <laughs> this ain't Call of Duty. Your gunners aren't helping you versus those longbows. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yes, we did learn today that the, uh, the Delhi Elephant is apparently actually a literal boat. You can take shots from the dock. Garneth can't make stone walls, but he's working on walling in the Muslim, but the Elephant blows them up. Oh my gosh, demo ship's coming on down. I just had thoughts, what if we had a demo Elephant? <laughs> I think this would be an R-rated game, but uh, I think PETA wouldn't like that, but... <laughs> Age of Empires 3 has a Gatlin gun uh, camel, which is pretty awesome. He also has siege camel, or siege elephants, they like shoot cannons. Okay, we've got... Uh, no, it was not Bonjois. I don't know who it was. Okay, right now Garneth uh, still has his fishing going on. Uh, we see those Delhi Tech's about to hit. Of course, it takes a while to get them. How many scholars does he have, Garrison? Mm, five. Five. Grabs the Sacred Site up north. So this is a big push for Demuslim. I would say this is probably pretty, gonna be pretty telling. How do Janissaries do versus Elephants? I'm just gonna ex expect good. Usually everything goes good against them, but uh, we'll see. Whoa! Frontline melted by Spearmen. Janissaries laying down the pain from the back. And now Dumbo is on the retreat. I'm not so sure how this is going to go. Sabahi charging forward. Is Garneth really going to 2-0 to Muslim out of this redemption bracket? Oh my gosh. Elephants on the run. Demu does have all the relics. <laughs> Five relics and sacred sites. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. 
Elephants kiting back. This is kind of the best way they do, uh, running backwards, because they're not getting hit and they're still shooting, because they will walk and shoot. It's like one of the only units that actually does this. I guess the Manga die as well. And the Muslim starting to get the, the Dumbo, uh, the Dumbo death ball going. Charging forward. Here, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> Kicking ass. Moving forward. See what he's able to do. I don't know, guys. Is Demosum going to pull this off with the tower elephants? He's looking pretty strong. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Grabbing sacred sites. Demo making the charge. Just when we thought these elephants were just going to be laughable. Getting killed by docks. He charges back. Taking out the fishing boats. Where is the army of... Okay, yeah. You guys, he's workshop. You actually, I'm pretty sure mangonels actually do pretty well versus uh, the tower elephants. I mean, mangonels would do pretty well against a lot of this. Um, but uh, and the Muslim looking like maybe he's going to get some points on the board here. Demi right now. Charging forward his elephants. Oh my gosh. It's just like the slow push. Talk about like literally the furthest distance you can travel. Like in a 1v1, you're not typically in the corners. Like he's literally going all the way across the map, pushing down the river. I guess since the river is so used for resources like the fishing boats, elephants are able to clean them up. He's got all these scholars ready to heal. Now, scholars do not dish out as much healing while units are in battle as they used to. So be aware of that. Manganel takes a shot. Seems like it misses. Uh-oh. Here we go. That's our thumbnail right there, folks. Look at that beautiful elephants charging in. The Ottoman army being trampled by the elephants despite the fact they don't actually trample them. Well, one, two Dumbos go down. Third one going down. Oh my gosh. Demu's army being cleaned up. The Janissary seem to just be eating through the elephants along with the crossbows. Manganel's firing on the back line. And uh, I thought Delhi was maybe just going to stomp that fight, but uh, the invention of gunpowder had to say something different about this. Wow. <laughs> the Chana series just melted. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, but Scholars are still back through healing. He's got archers. He doesn't have anything melee to deal with this manga now. <laughs> Look how quickly the elements die. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, well, what a fight. And well, not to mention, like, players, this patch just dropped this week. They've only had so much practice, uh, you know, <laughs> with the new elephants, with some of these, these mechanics, the new healing. The elephants got shredded. This one mangonel provided a ridiculous amount of value, and Garneth holds. Now, the Muslim, uh, he's getting some of his other upgrades, it looks like. It looks like Insulated Helm's coming in. Um, but he has all five relics, don't forget. He does also has three sacred sites. If you look at that gold per minute, uh, well, I guess Garnet's staying with him, but he's probably got a lot more people mining. Okay. Elephant Wave 1. Uh, I feel like if this was like a, an Art of War mission, uh, that would have been, uh, <laughs> that, that would be one. Elephant Wave. Okay, so... With that, 72 villagers for 73. The Muslim lost a lot of his army, but he's booming back up to it. And Garneth holding on with the Ottomans. I think he'll be back for more. Okay, right now we've got the Muslim got a tower elephant there. Is he going to train any more elephants? I mean, if I was him, I'd be like, okay, that didn't work. No more elephants. Uh, but like, what? You make you can't make horsemen versus Janissaries. Knights up on the north side doing some rage right now on Garnet's kind of open season on villagers. He does have some of his own knights. Okay, so... Uh, Whew, this is a uh, gonna be a close game and Muslim definitely playing for his life here He wants to stay alive in this tournament. His eco looks good on paper with all the sacred sites and relics He is losing some of these of course the Ottomans just keep pumping out units. I mean, this is just Look at look at this massive 
uh, Ottoman base here. Look at that. All squished in the corner. It's crazy. Garnet is trying to draw a line in the sand there with his palisades. Uh, it looks like the Muslim has as well. Um, as far as the water goes, it has largely been abandoned. Not seeing any uh, any docks from anyone here. Thank you so much for that follow coming in. Okay, Sacred Site has been lost. Let's look at the destruction value. Garneth definitely got more value because he just like yeeted all those elephants. Uh, so I don't know. Do, do elephants remain to be shit? I'm not sure. I've seen them be good, but uh, not in that matchup. Definitely, uh, they, they did not get the job done. Okay, we've got man arms, and these man arms have a lot of attack. Take a look at their stats there. Yeah, they're uh, pretty strong. They got that uh, additional tech from the House of Learning. And we also got speedy scholars now. Look at them go zooming around. Look at them go. <laughs> they're so fast. <laughs> What's the speed on those things? Can I see it here? Uh, no. <laughs> They're so fat. What is this speed? 1.69? Is that what they are? 1.69? What's a knight? 1.62? <laughs> they're barely slower. Wait! Wait a second! Are they faster than a knight? They are! <laughs> right? That's fast? <laughs> they are faster than a knight. <laughs> Mangadel, take shots! Here we go, another big engagement. Dumbo goes down almost instantly, yet again. And the Ottomans, this time around though, he's got man arms. Trying to get on the back line, trying to take out that Manganel. Manganel low on HP, but he's able to clean up the rest of the man arms. One more gets through, but that Manganel is going to survive. And now an entirely ranged army is going to get devastated by this Manganel. Don't forget, uh, he's using villagers to heal, but I was going to say Janitors can actually heal too. But they're busy going pew pew right now. Oh my gosh. Garnus. Really showing the power of the Ottomans. Dun, 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 dun. You guys remember the trailer, right? When we first saw the Ottomans, everyone was like pog as could be. And now the Muslim on the retreat. I feel like Garneth is just starting to snowball a little bit here. But Springgold comes into play. Yeah, that could have been super helpful in that last engagement. That's for sure. Okay. And he's like... Don't worry. I saw the rest of you go before me. I'll, it's going to go better this time. <laughs> Trust me. They got all this armor, but I think this is like paper mache or something. Why is the... What, what are you talking... Over there is fine. What are you talking about, Flipped? Blue, purple. Blue, purple. Don't mess with me. Most of the time it actually is Flipped. Don't mess with me like that. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh boy! And comes the <laughs> yet again elephant instantly dying. Springgold's rolling up though. Will this make a difference in this fight? Or will the knights pop this first Springgold up front? It looks like the crossbow's been able to kill the knights. He takes shot at those mangonels. One mangonel going down. Good use of his Springgolds here. And now, uh, Garnet is on the retreat. This has been a back and forth. Definitely a, a pretty even matchup as far as these two players go. I would love to... Oh! oh he grabs that. Springgold gets a shot. What was that? I, don't know. I was going to say I would love to see like a, a best of seven or something out of these two guys. Because they're definitely... Uh, seem to be pretty evenly matched. The Muslim right now. Starting to push up once again. Siege looks... I'm a little nervous about his melee. He doesn't have a his like one spearman, so a big horseman raid could be could be troubles. Uh, we got Sapahi just going through, trying to do some damage down south as, as well, but that gets put down pretty quickly. And Manganel going to be pretty effective down here, but we have a Springgold. Let's see how this goes, because he has two Springgolds. Instantly losing that. I thought he might micro it a little differently, but he grabs one of the Manganel. Going to go after another. And he killed it. It's it's hanging on. Oh! Garnet's army has been kind of shredded. Oh, he's been trading. How much? How many traders does he have? Uh, did not tell you. Ten. Okay, he has ten traders. That's a lot of gold for him. Um, but right now, look at the bank of Garnet. Pretty low. Uh, with Demosma having look 3.2k gold in the bank. Muslim in a good spot and if he can cut off this trade route here as he's already pushed off some of this farming uh, 
he could really secure this by just starving out his opponent. Uh, nothing attacking him on the other side. You can see the units just flowing across the map. The Muslim looking into to maybe be in a spot to get some points on the board here in the series as he's picking off some of those traders. Knights charging out, but of course there's crossbows. Wait, there were crossbows. Oh, crossbows are dead. The knights can be pretty effective here. He has a few crossbows, four there, and some spearmen. But Garneth really needs to stop this incursion. But the Muslim has got his reinforcements coming up. And Garneth taps out, ties up the series in this redemption bracket. The score is one to one in Golden League 2 between the Muslim and 3D Garneth. We've got ourselves a ball game on our hand. Hope you guys stick around for game number three. We'll be moving on over there. If you're watching this over on YouTube or on Twitch, make sure you drop a subscription. It really helps out my channel. And I'll see you in game number three.